My name is Brandy M. Miller and this is my take on the real problem with cuties. Let's imagine that you and I go on a walk on a nice warm summer day through a park. We come across a group of little 11 year old girls, prepubescent, and they're dressed in their jean shorts and crop tops and they're mimicking people like Beyonce and Cardi B and they're twerking and stuff. Now this would be, to me, troubling by itself. But it might be something we walked past and we left to their parents, right? Because they're not hurting anybody. I don't, I don't agree with what they're doing. I don't like what they're doing. I wouldn't want them to do what they're doing. If it were my daughter, I certainly wouldn't want her doing it. But I'm not her mother. I'm not their mother. So it's not necessarily up for me to correct that behavior. So we might walk by. But let's say that it wasn't just this group of 11 year old girls doing their little thing. Let's say that there was a group of adults surrounding them, taking pictures, taking pictures of their butt and their boobs and their crotches, would that change the picture for us? Would we maybe see things in a different light? Would we maybe think to pick up the phone and call the police? Pretty sure I would. Pretty sure at that point in time, I would be calling the police on those adults because that behavior is inappropriate. Because adults taking pictures of little girls doing sexually explicit dances is inappropriate. And if we've forgotten that as a culture, I think we need a reminder. And what's more, if I'm the kind of person that would grab popcorn and a soda and sit down and watch the adults exploiting the 11 year old girls, maybe I have bigger issues. And maybe, just maybe, I need to consider what those issues really are. Maybe there's a line that I've forgotten. Maybe calling it art or cinematography distances us from what's really happening. These girls are being objectified. They're being exploited in sexually explicit acts. I mean, no, they're not unclothed but you don't have to be unclothed for it to be sexually exploitive, okay? These are explicit things that they are doing. These are, come on, these girls don't know what they're doing, but we adults do. And that adults are setting these girls up for this and then viewing it and then distributing it, this, this is problematic. This is a serious issue. This says that this kind of behavior is okay and it is not okay at least not in my books, for adults to exploit children. Let's go on to another scene that happened within Cuties. Let's say that you happen to pass by a bathroom where a little girl is on the floor sliding her pants and panties down her legs. Okay, well, maybe she needed to change. Not a biggie. And then you see her whip out a bone and take a picture of her crotch. Okay, that's uncomfortable. Probably not a good idea. Definitely not something I'd want my daughter to do. But maybe that's an issue for her parents. Okay, that's where we are. But let's take a step back and let's say you pass by that same washroom, that same scene, and you see a group of adults surrounding her filming it filming her crotch area, filming her legs as she slides them down, does that change things for you? Does that change how you would respond to that scene? Because it does to me. Because if there were a bunch of adults surrounding that child filming her, you'd better believe I would be on the phone to the police. That child is being exploited and it's wrong and it shouldn't be happening. I'm not gonna be grabbing soda and popcorn and sitting down and cheering on the adults and watching them film. 
I'm not going to be asking them to send me copies of what they filmed. And I'm not going to be labeling it art or cinematography because it's not. It's exploitation of a child and it's wrong. And if we've lost sight of that, if we've gotten to the point where we objectify everybody around us so much that we think that the minute you label it art or cinematography, that makes it okay, then maybe we need to check our society's moral compass because it's seriously broken. It's one thing for a child to innocently do something, even something inappropriate children do. They mimic adults. They do inappropriate things because they're children and they don't know better. But we as adults do know better. And when we exploit children and get them to do inappropriate things and then film it and put it on, put it on camera for everybody else to see, that doesn't help stop child exploitation. That is child exploitation. I hope this is made clear why I have a problem with cuties and it doesn't matter how much a percentage of that movie is made up by scenes like this the fact that any of it's in there is a serious problem those children were exploited and I'm not going to support it and I don't think Netflix should get away with supporting it and I don't think the people who made it should get away with having done it that's my problem with cuties and I hope you understand you're free to comment in the comments below, but I doubt it's gonna change my mind. Unless you can make me a really good compelling point as to why a bunch of adults should be around a child filming why they do this stuff, then you miss me with that. So at any rate, if you like this comment, if you like my viewpoints, you're welcome to subscribe, you're welcome to like, you're welcome to comment. If you don't like, you're welcome to dislike, and you're welcome to comment, and I'll reply, but you might not like what I say. This is my take on cuties. I'm Brandy M. Miller, and that's all I have to